Hello and welcome to another lesson in uh, Microsoft Excel for beginners. And in this lesson, we are going to learn how to create Google Forms, take data from our users or whoever, export the data into Excel and use. Okay, so that is what we will be doing in this lesson. So let's quickly delve right into that. So first thing first, let me just launch my browser here. And from there, you just proceed and then uh, and use any of these accounts for that. So let me just go for the account. Okay, let me go for this one. So no, I don't need to restore any page here. Perfect. So what I'm going to do right now is you make sure you have your account set up. As you can see from here, once I hover the mouse on this, you see King Dean and then my email address popping up. It means I'm signed into the browser. So once you sign into it like that, it shouldn't have everything intact as it is here. So the next thing you're going to do is just to click on this dot to go for the Google product. Just click on this. Then you scroll and look for Google Forms, okay? Or come to just click on Forms. So let's see how it goes. Perfect. So with this, we can see we have a lot of templates that we can use, predefined templates. If you want to go for a blank form for you to start creating a form from scratch, you click on the plus sign, else you would want to use any of the predefined templates for whatever. Depending upon what you want to use it for, if it's for an event, for a party, for t-shirt sign up, whatever, you can use any of the template, okay? But for the purpose of this demonstration, let's just go for one of the predefined templates like the contact information. So I'll just click on the contact information here. Good. So here I have the tendency to, sorry, uh, let me just delete this to change to whatever I want to change, okay? So with this, you can edit it depends on what you want to use it for or depends on the data you would want to collect so in this case i want to collect contact information so i don't want to take the name okay so with this buttons here it means you can you can go ahead and add a lot of options if you want to prompt the user to download or sorry to if you want to prompt the user to give you a particular file you can use this to prompt them to upload any file if you want to give them options to choose like gender male or female and all that you can use this you can use check boxes as well. If you want to add date and time for them to just choose from calendar, you can do that, okay? So for the purpose of this demonstration, let's just go forward and then proceed. So with this, I want to take in the name. So the data type is going to be short answer. So they'll provide a short answer here. As well as the email address is also going to be a short answer. As well as their address is going to be a short one. And then the phone number, as well as the contact. So with the contact, uh, sorry, Comments, I don't need it, so I can just delete it. So to do that, you just click on this and then you take off whatever you don't want. So you can see the comment aspect is gone like that. Supposing I want to add another quickly, I can uh, just do that. Just click on this and then whatever I want to add, I can do that. Maybe if I want to add something like maybe um, hometown, you can see I'll just edit that here like this. You can see hometown then i can do that and take whatever so with that maybe i can go for this sorry here i just click inside here and then i maybe um whatever description i would want to give to that then i go ahead and then do that else you can leave it like that so the next thing i would want us to do let me just see something maybe you can sorry you can just with what i've just done you can just click on this to duplicate this and then edit this to take another data if you don't want to do that you can just go for undo and it will take that one off. I don't need it as well. So undo, and then I will take it one two off. So I can just delete it again for it to go. So I'm going to take this three things or four. That is the name, email address, the address. I don't even need it. Okay. So once I've gotten the email address, let me take off the address. So I delete it. So take off, take the email address. So the name, email address, and contact. These are the three things I would want to take. Okay, for my users. So whatever you would want to add, you can go ahead and then do that from here. Best. Basically, that is that. With this one too, you can equally duplicate this one and edit it to see what you want. You can just click on this to duplicate it for you. Then you edit whatever you want to take from here. Okay, so basically that is that. If you don't want it, just delete it and then you maintain what you already have. You can try playing around all these things. So once you are done, I'm going to take the name, 
email address and contact okay so once i'm done with this whenever i i submit the link to my users they'll fill and i'll get all these details from them so let's proceed so once i'm done with what i'm satisfied with what i want to the data i want to take from my users then i go ahead and click on send so once i click on send here i'll just click on this and then this will be the link i'll share for my users to click to submit their data to me okay with this is too lengthy it's too long so you can shorten it click on this and then it will shorten it like this so once i'm done i'll just copy this okay this is what i'm going to share for my users to do or uh, to maybe um, um give me the data i'm requesting for from them okay so once i'm done let me just copy it i'm done copying so close this now okay so with this i can minimize this now let me go over and then open chrome again and go for a different account okay so let me just go for this account now so i'm going to paste the the, the link here Control v and then press enter so it should open up for me you can see so from here i can then go ahead and submit my data so here the name is what ab king tech okay coding clinic perfect so with that email address i can just say a t c c uh at one two three dot com okay perfect then the phone number whatever number just do that so once i'm done i'm filling the form just like that so once i'm gonna click on submit so with this my form is submitted as we already know how to fill this google forms so once i'm done with this let me visit my previous account here so this is it let me just refresh it here and see what's gonna happen Hold on, since my network seems to be slow from here. Okay, let me just. Uh, let me. Okay, so you can see that the response is here. Let me just click on this to close. You can see response meaning someone has just filled the form. So you can see because what i've just submitted my data from there so let me go, just go over again and then submit another and then i'll come back for us to see how it's going to be so i'm going to do go ahead and then open another browser okay and then try and submit another data again so let me just go for my chrome again so let me just open any of these accounts here let me go for this one so let me just paste this link here again and open this so it's assumed another person is going to fill from here so i can i guess musa yeah yeah then the email address yeah yeah okay let me just yeah yeah at gmail.com okay the phone number uh, whatever number so once i'm done i'll submit for yaya again so yaya has also filled this data so i can close this one i don't need it and quickly come back here you can see the response is now what two the second person has just what also submitted the address so depending upon the number of people you want them to submit the data you can keep track of the number from here so once i click on this i'll be able to see the response you can see the first person is in tech coding clinic the next person is musa yaya and here this holds their email addresses and then this one holds their contact numbers as i have taken so with this once i'm done with this the next thing i would want to go ahead and do is maybe click on this drop down array here you can you can download it as what csv file it's also in form of excel but that is not what we are here for okay so you can leave it like that no don't, you just click on this one here and from there we would want to is it that you would want to create a new spreadsheet or you want to select an existing one we are creating a new spreadsheet so you click on create so once you click on create it should open a spreadsheet for you here this is not an excel this is a spreadsheet okay for google so once we come here you can see our data is here but it's in it's in spreadsheet we want it in excel so that we can use other excel functions to do whatever we want to do here we can equally do that but we are used to the excel interface compared to this one so it will be appropriate for us to export this data into what microsoft excel so how do we do that Quickly, you go to file from here, then you go to download, and you go to what Microsoft Excel dot XLSX. So you click on this. So once you do that, it will download it. You can see from here, the bottom left here, it means I have my file here. So once I double click this file here, you can just go to a downloads folder. You see it there. So once I click on that, then I have and just close this. 
then I have my data in Excel. So there we go. So from here, whatever I want to use it for, I can go ahead and do that. So you can see we have just created a form, then link the form to Excel after collecting the data. We can just quickly come back here, and then export our data into Microsoft Excel and use it for whatever purpose we want to use it for. In our case for King Tech Coding Clinic, that is what we use to take our data for certificates, okay? That is once our members or our learners are done with a particular course, then we use the Google Forms to collect the data. And then once we are done collecting the data, then we issue them certificates from the data given to us. So basically, that is that. So in this short lesson, we have learned how to create Google Forms, then link it to Excel, export the data from Google Forms to Excel, where we can use it for whatever purpose we intend to use it for. So that is that for this lesson. So for our next lesson, so thank you so much for watching and then bye for now.